Okay, guys. So I'm continuing the horoscope series. And... Oh, whatever. I'll find it later. Um, so, there. Oh, whatever. So, the, in this one, I'm going to be talking about you, Gemini. Oh, did it say Gemini? Oh, yeah, it did. <gasps> okay, you know what? Whatever. Sorry, I'm like getting off track here. So, this one's going to be Cancer. And, um,. Cancers are from June 22nd to July 22nd. Um, to be honest, I'm not too familiar with cancers. Um, and it's weird because the cancers that I have met actually haven't been that emotional. Um, but very creative. Um, my cousin's actually a cancer and she, all I, what I really remember from her, fucking hair, it's not hair. Um, she loved poetry. Like she loved to write poetry and music and she was very, very creative. I think that cancers are very creative people. Um, one of my good friends now that's actually friends with my mom, but we're like friends now and stuff. It's pretty cool. Is, um, my friend Amber, and she's a cancer and she's so creative like i don't really know too much about her yet i mean i know a lot but i don't really know what her hobbies are so far but i know that she loves to bake and that's something that's really creative when it comes to her um i don't feel like she's too emotional like she's one of the cancers that are like the fuck like cancers really are you sure they're emotional but i don't feel like they're super emotional um in particular, um, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, but those are my experiences. I mean, those are usually really the only two that I know. I don't really know that many cancers. Um, so I'm gonna go in. I'm basically just gonna say positive traits, negative traits, um, who they're most compatible with, who they make good friends with hate love relationship and challenging relationship um so without further ado let's get on with this um so positive traits for cancer creative spontaneous faithful loving emotional and protective from the cancers that i do know i do agree with this um I've never been in a relationship with a cancer before, but I mean, with friendship wise, yeah, I mean, I honestly can't, I don't know about the whole faithful thing because I've never been into a relationship with a cancer, but I honestly, I feel like they would be faithful just because of how emotional they are. I do feel like they would, but I, I've never been in a relationship, so I can't say 100% if I agree with that or disagree. Um, the creative and spontaneous though, I do agree with those. The loving, yeah, the emotional, eh, somewhat protective, yeah, I do agree with, um, I do agree with protective, I, I really do agree with protective, um, I know that a lot of people say that Gem or the cancers are very emotional, and I don't disagree with that, it's just the ones that I know aren't super emotional, and so it's like, eh, you know, um, I, I agree with the the other stuff though for the most part um the negative traits are moody pessimistic clingy over emotional suspicious and born nagger oh my god that's so mean okay i think suspicious kind of kind of in a little bit of um, born nagger, I don't really know. Um, from who I know, they don't really nag about things. But then again, I've never been in a relationship with one, so I don't fucking know. Um, over emotional, no, for me personally. Clingy, I, I don't know. 
pessimistic? I don't think so. Moody, maybe. Yeah, yeah, definitely moody. It's just because a lot of these are for relationships and because I've never really been in a relationship. The pessimistic, no, I don't agree with that because, I mean, I think maybe a little bit, but I don't think it's crazy. Um, the moody, yeah, I can definitely see the moody. I can definitely see the moody in, in both of them. Um, but I think if I was in a relationship with one, I'd be able to agree with this, but I've, I've never been in a relationship with one. And then the most compatible with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Obviously, all the water signs get together get together on a threesome. Um, I agree. I agree with this, definitely. Good friends with Virgo and Taurus. Um, yeah. I think that Virgo and Taurus would be really good because they, um, they are, I think they would even out a cancer, like, very well. I feel like, um, with a cancer, like, because a cancer can be a little bit emotional and a little bit just crazy all the I mean, where Virgo and Taurus are kind of down to her, so I think they would balance out a cancer, but I feel like they would get them to open up and be able to talk about things and everything like that, but I also feel like a Pisces or a Cancer would even them out, maybe make them more creative and get them to do more crazy stuff that I don't think they would normally do. Uh, love, hate, Capricorn, probably. I feel like they would try to get a Capricorn out of their shell, and then it just wouldn't work. They would just be like, why are you so stuck up? And then, like, um, and then they would just be like, fuck, fuck it. Um, but, uh, then, let's see. Challenging. Libra and Aries. Oh, that hurts my feelings. So compatible with Aries. Um, I can agree. Because Cancers are kind of like the type of people that they know what they want. You know what I mean? Like, they are like, this is what I am. This is how I am. Like, you don't like it. Bye. Where Libras and Aries are kind of like, they're not fake. People, people say that a lot about Gemini's. We're not fake. Just, we just, we have a lot of things going on at the same time. And so it kind of comes off as fake. Um, and I feel like because they can't, they don't really understand where Libra and Aries are coming from because they don't know what direction they're going or what to expect with them. I don't think it sets, sits well with the, with the Cancer. Um, I mean, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. I do. I agree with that a lot. Um, so, the next thing I'm going to read. Oh, wait, I forgot my experience. Yeah, I don't. I really wish I did. I really wish I had a lot more experiences with these signs. With some of these signs. Because it's hard for me to talk about. I really do. Sometimes I feel bad. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna read the picture again, and I'm gonna read the compatibility first. And it says, um, Cancer and Aries is low. Um, Cancer and Taurus is high. Cancer and Gemini is low. Cancer and Cancer is high. Cancer and Leo is medium. Cancer and Virgo high. I'm just gonna stop reading the Cancer. I'll just be like, okay, Libra low, Scorpio high, Sagittarius low. Capricorn, medium, Aquarius, low, Pisces, high. Okay. And then the six, the beautiful six. Um, Aries, medium, Can or Taurus, uh, high, Gemini, low. Oh, that hurts my feelings though. Like, I'm gonna have this. That hurts my feelings. Uh, Cancer, high. Leo, medium, Virgo, high, Libra, low, Scorpio, high, Sagittarius, medium, Capricorn, high, Aquarius, low, and Pisces, high. What up? So yeah, there you guys go. Like I keep saying in every video, if you guys have any other questions about uh, cancers and would like me to answer them, just leave them in the description below. Description below, Jesus. In the comments below. And I will also leave a... 
a link to the website that I use for my birth chart that would help you guys if you guys, like I said, if you guys don't feel like you're a cancer or whatever, check that out. It'll give you more accurate description. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. So, I'll see you guys in the next video.